welcome to Hogwarts. I remember I would come out of films when I was younger and absolutely just wished that world could be real and that I could be a part of it. When they said that we're going to do a Harry Potter theme park, I was just like, oh my goodness. How do we create something and make sure we, we don't disappoint all the Harry Potter fans themselves? It's not just creating the place of the Wizarding World, but being able to take you on the adventure. And now we can actually sort of step into this amazing world and think all the fans are just going to love it. It's not just like a ride of Harry Potter, it's a, a whole world of Harry Potter. Well, you can watch a IMAX, you can watch it on a big screen. That is cool. But to actually be there, awesome. Universal Orlando would like to invite you to the world you've always dreamed about. You've read the books, you've watched the movies, and now, for the first time ever, you can actually live the adventure. Expecto Patronum! The Wizarding World of Harry Potter is located at Universal Orlando Resort in Florida. Universal Orlando's challenge Take the tales and characters of author J.K. Rowling, whose books have sold more than 400 million copies and spawned some of the highest grossing films of all time, and recreate that world in a theme park. What excited me when I first heard it was the idea of this being a completely immersive experience. You've seen Harry's world, now live it. So many kids have said to me, I really, you know, I wish Hogwarts was real, I want to go myself. We had been designing and building and walking around these sets for some years, but, and actually saying to ourselves, and by, by ourselves I mean the film crew, boy, this would make a great theme park. <laughs> you know? Even having been here seven or eight years, they still feel amazing. It just feels so authentic and so real. Like, you really feel like you're living the Hogwarts school life when you walk around this studio. I mean, we do sometimes have visitors to the set, children who won competitions and things who come around, and they're just, their eyes are like saucers. They just cannot believe that they're actually here. They go around and touch things, and it's a, it's a truly magical sort of experience for them. Wicked. With seven books and ultimately eight movies, this is just a marvelous world that was created out of the imagination of J.K. Rowling. And for us at Universal to be given the opportunity to make it real, is just terrific. She really leaned back on the filmmakers and, and particularly on Stuart Craig, David Heyman, David Barron, who had brought her book to life. We're building an entire world of Harry Potter, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Orlando. And uh, it's really important for us to follow the authenticity of, of uh, the brand and the, the property. I'm just so overwhelmed by how keen everyone within the project is to make it as real, as lifelike, as authentic as they possibly can. If it were not going to be an authentic representation, we wouldn't have been really very interested in collaborating as filmmakers because it, um, it lets down the world that we've created that was in turn you know, originally created by Joe in the books. And the fact that Stuart Craig is able to design the set, it's a bit like designing the complete set of Hogsmeade, which he's never been able to do for the film because we've never had enough room to build it in its entirety. So he finally gets to do what he's had in the back of his mind, you know, for a long time. It looks like this. I mean, it's, it's going to be exactly like this because it's been designed by the guy who designed all this. What we've learned on having these film sets standing here for so many years is that people are unexpectedly overwhelmed by the detail. I think that's absolutely what we must carry forward into the theme park. Alan Gilmore, who is an art director who he's worked with before, is very vital in, in ensuring that Stuart's vision is, is realized 3,000 miles away in Orlando, Florida. This is a sample of the dungeon corridor, which is the main entryway into the castle when you leave the exterior. Dungeon Corridor was a set in Harry Potter 1, which is based on Norman architecture, which is very, very ancient. He is an architect. He's not just a, a movie draftsman. So I think he's able to talk to uh, the engineers, the architects in this project on a level which actually, frankly, I wouldn't be able to. So he's absolutely ideal. It was very exciting to carry the film design through to real architecture. 
and let the general public experience the sets that we've been in for many years because they're so fantastic. This is being done to a level of detail that there just isn't a comparable to. I think there is nothing else like it in the world and it's gonna totally blow kids away. Coming up, we'll take you on a tour through the streets of Hogsmeade. Then later, we'll step inside the walls of Hogwarts Castle. Pull that light out. Sorry. All those moving portraits are, are the thing I'm very, very excited about because I do think it's just gonna be wonderful to see people's faces when a portrait suddenly starts talking to them.